Hello and welcome to another episode of DTV. I'm very, very excited about this one. You're joining us here in the Regional Accommodation Program, our house, where I get to live with my housemate, not only one of the most exciting footballers in Perth, Gordon Arrier. Thanks for joining us, mate. No worries, mate. How are you feeling? Nice awesome and relaxed? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Got to get used to this sort of thing, mate. All right, so I'll teach you, I'll teach you what I know. But anyway, mate, obviously, for the Perth supporters out there, tell us a bit about yourself. So you're from Northern and, you know, tell us a bit about your family and what your life so far. Yeah, so I uh, grew up in Northern, um, country town east, about 120 days east of Perth, and um, yeah, grew up family of six, uh, two brothers and three sisters, and um, yeah, I've been there since till I went year seven. Then I moved to Perth to go to boarding school at Hale, so yeah, that was, and I've stayed there till year 12, and I graduated last year. Now you live here. Yeah. Um, yeah <laughs> you enjoying it, mate? How do you, how do you yeah. feel about living with such you know blokes and such legends? The <laughs> football club like yours truly. Yeah, it's great. It's great to be around. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a good atmosphere around here. And everyone's pretty um, um, happy around here. So, yeah, it's good. So, obviously, as far as your footy's concerned, mate, congratulations. You just made the State 18 squad once right. again. So, you should feel good about that. Yeah, yeah. And not only that, you played Waffle League footy, which is, you know, mate, you're, yeah. you're flying. It's for everyone watching all the Perth supporters. They'll, you're a cult hero already. So what's what's next, mate? What's your plans over the next few months? Uh, well, away from footy, I'm looking to go to the university uh, next semester, hopefully, and uh, do our PE teaching over at Notre Dame, hopefully, and that's the plan. And get some work in as well, so we go the job as well. So that's probably the plan. And then obviously keep playing footy as for Perth, and hopefully play in the carnival as well. So that's. Cool. That's what's the plan so far. Awesome, mate. Look, we've got footage, obviously. You've already had a goal in your nomination already, yeah. all right? So, you know, if you see it here, that little dribble goal was bloody beautiful. Is that the best goal you've ever kicked? Or can you talk us through maybe one or two other goals that you might uh, think you might have outdone that back in the day or whenever? Uh, probably when I was caught. Yeah, but that was the only one I'd say I've probably been on footage. But I've kicked a couple that's, uh, that were pretty good, but that was probably one of the best ones, yeah. Mate, you kicked goal all week. Every week, I reckon, it's, it's phenomenal, make it look easy. So, mate, obviously you're playing senior footy, playing league footy, which is yeah. which is great. Um, who are the sort of the senior blokes at the footy club that's helped you out, and where are the areas you'd, you'd like to improve? Yeah, um, everyone in the side has been pretty um, helpful with my footy so far. They've helped me ease into the, into the league game. And, um, but um, probably the civil leaders like CJ and um, uh, Tropiano's in there in the midfield and... You know, you as well. Back to you. Know, I'll, you, a bit, yeah, so I'll do what I can. Oh, um, yeah, like, they were um, pretty, pretty helpful, and the coaches obviously um, always get around me and um, tell me like what I need to do. And just, yeah, it's good. It's good what they do. It's good, mate. So obviously, okay, we've worked out who's helped at the footy club and we, like, where you want to improve. There's always areas of improvement. What about around the house, mate? Like, what do you think are your areas of improvement that you think can make this house just a better place to live? Oh, well, yeah, probably just. Everyone just helping out everyone all the time, like dishes and dishes, um, yeah. Uh, clean the yard, clean the yard, and washing out. And yeah, that's that. all. I think they're all pretty good things, yeah. mate. <laughs> it's just the usual, you know? <laughs> um, mate. Obviously, look, you played on TV. I think for your first game earlier this year. Yeah, yeah that was against Claremont. Obviously, yeah. the result wasn't what we liked, but yeah. you know, you took a mark. Another highlight for Gordon Arrier. <laughs> Can you talk us through what happened? After that, now, was it was it like you're on TV with the cameras getting you? What happened? So what yeah, what like, happened here? Well, I took the mark and, um, you know, it was, it was pretty, pretty, uh, I thought I was going to kick it. But it was pretty um, set, like straight for a shot and a bit lazy that I would kick through the ball and just sprayed it to the left. And yeah, just um, missed, the, missed it. Like, it was pretty um, Well, I think you, if anything that you probably learned from me, it's that sort of thing, goal kicker. Yeah. Other than that, mate, you're ticking the boxes and you go way past me in all regards, mate. I can't appreciate how much it is that I've, that I've got you on DTV, mate. All right, you've spoken really well. Thanks for joining us. All right, you're a legend. Okay, sorry we couldn't get 10 on. We'll try again next week. All right, but once again, a brilliant episode of DTV. I'm Cat Wally. Look after yourself.